Hello there, I am John Gold with more Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards for the Game Boy Advance. In the last part, we took on a couple, you know, not mandatory duelists, but it was really helpful that we, you know, took on them. One being a dueling simulator. Um, basically, what I want to show you guys is my status. Yes, look at that. I have 20, I have 2,305 deck capacity. My duelist level is 307, and I, and I, of course, I still have my five locator cards out of six. I need uh, to get into the finals. And then my domino is 476,204 domino. I I think I spent a whole Sunday, I think it was the Sunday before President's Day, which was back in February, which I don't know exactly when I'm uploading this, but when I'm recording this video right here is um, March 9th, which is a uh, Thursday. Um, I recently, I got my Nintendo Switch on that last Sunday on the 5th, two days after it's released, that's pretty cool. So you probably, are, if you haven't seen my unboxing video, you can check it off if you want to, I don't know. It's just there if you want it to. <laughs> yeah, I upload that the same day on the 5th of March, but by the time this video is coming to be uploaded, I would have guess, if I were to guess, I think this video would come out in like June, honestly. I don't know if it'd be that long, but I'd say like June. Cause like I still have a lot of videos planned for um, March. April, well, June might be a little longer than I thought. Maybe like May, actually. Like the rest of April and the rest of um, March, of course. But yeah, I tr I just kept on battling the duel, the duel simulator like a lot of times. I'd say like 30 to 50 times, honestly. It felt like that, honestly. But um, I got some really good um, cards, too, if I can check out, check out my trunk. Um, let's organize this by... Dang it. Let's organize this by... Um, yeah, let's go. I almost forgot the controls of this game. Because I haven't recorded in a long time. It's been at least two weeks since I've recorded. Um, so yeah, let's go organize them by attack. Yeah, I got Jinzo, Last Warrior, Remember the Plan, of course, Judge Man. I got all these great cards. So let me see if I can go, go um, organize. And like, I didn't want to add any cards without telling you guys. And I'm pretty sure I haven't done that already. If I have, I'm sorry. Because I haven't recorded in two weeks and I don't know if I had cards from the other part, from the last time I recorded or whatnot. So let me see if I can just, um, um, I'm just trying to see if I can, okay, if it's, if it's a white number on the far right, then it's something I can take out of. Dark energy, I got a lot of dark energies, which was right there. Um, doesn't have to made it. I don't think I'll need that card, honestly. Um, I can try a dark energy, I guess. Which I forgot the details for that, but I got like four of them. A, t a tented energy from f f fiends that makes them more powerful. It powers up a dark uh, being by 500 points. That's pretty good. I could use that. Dang it. Just, yeah. Um, I got bear traps, of course. Got another part of greed. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I might add another part of greed too. And then. Wait, I got, I don't have any of these cards actually. There's like really good cards right here because they're way powerful, but we'll get to them later, I guess. So let's see here. What else can I put in my, remove from my deck real quick? Uh, this might take a while, so I'm sorry. Details, it's a great type. I'll just put one back in my trunk, I guess. Um, pod, the trick. What does this do again? Familiar loyal obeys every command of a magician. It's not particularly strong in any way. Yeah, let's just put that in my trunk too. Because I want to add a lot of good cards to my deck because I have them. White Dolphin, 500 attack. I think I'll keep that just in case for right now. Which is Apprentice, which a startling which with an ability to power up monsters powered by the dark type and okay okay yeah okay so i'm actually gonna just um put this back in my trunk and let me see if what good cards i have that could ah oh, shoot mocha mocha yeah i don't want that one either and then i don't want that one yeah i think a 37 is good okay guys i was just looking at cards i can actually press the alt right on them Oh, I want more Lord of D in my deck. Maybe another Lord of D. And I got seven of these horsemen, guys. Hold on, what's the... And look at my desk capacity. I have, like, plenty of deck capacity, too, I think. I have that, too. 
Well, I don't have many now, but much now, but still. Grapple. We could warm. Oh, I got 11 of these things? Yeah. I might try one. Yeah, let me try. But then I have all these good cards up here, too. So let me see if I can just take out some more of my weaker cards, I guess. So. Let's see here. Sorry, I keep on pressing the right button by mistake. Um. Don't think I need that. The, um, Wretched Ghost, um, Mooka Mooka, I might need. Um, Mooka Mooka, um, I'm trying to get a Warm Beast in here, so let me try to put Mooka Mooka, Mooka back. Okay. And. Got a lot of Golem, guys. 800, 800, 800. Um, let me see if I can add anything cool to my deck. Warrior number one, eh. Look at one beast, yeah, there we go. Ah, it's over my deck capacity, shoot. Okay, I already have one in my deck anyway. Um, Saber Slash, I already have. Nope, that's, yeah, my deck capacity. This isn't working, because like all these good cards I have, I still haven't had enough deck capacity. And I, and I have a lot of deck capacity for right now in the game, so like, I don't know. Could add two of those. Um, yeah, that's barely over my, that's the best I can do right now, okay. So let's actually, um, talk to this guy. We actually, um, dueled him before, and he was looking for Yugi, so let's see what he said. I dueled with Yugi, but I couldn't win. Ugh. Erg, ugh, ugh, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, he couldn't win, okay. So let's, um, take on, uh, duels nearby, and by nearby I mean this guy right here. So let's take him on, let's do him. I'll duel with anyone. Bring it on. Okay, so. Why is White Dragon? No, I don't want to put that for anti. Um. I'll put Wicked Warm Beast, um. Just because I have ten of them. Jeez, I'll use this as anti. Even though I'm a... Well, this guy is like as strong as everyone in the clock tower score, basically. So it's going to be really easily if I play the right cards. Can I summon this without a sacrificing the Mystic Horseman? Seriously, I can do that? It doesn't take any sacrifices? Wow. That was a really good card to have my deck then. Because like, it has 13, 5, 1300 attack and 1550 defense. 5, 1550 defense. So, um, I'll put him out. I don't even have to sacrifice him. I'll add more of those to my deck then. That's really cool. That's really cool. Okay. So that's really good then. Um, let's... Oh, we don't know what that card is because it's face down. Okay, so let's put Skellinger. Attack this card. Yeah, there we go. And attack his life points directly. Man, this is good. I'll add more Mr. Christmas to my deck if I can after this, uh, duel. Because I know how really good these are, because it's no sacrifice and you get a really good decent attack. Uh, Larvis. Larvis can attack this part guy right here. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Nice. This is a really... This is going by really fast. Awesome. Um, Penguin Slasher. There we go. Yeah. Maybe one turn should do it, though, after this. Yeah. Yeah, there we go, I knocked that one out. Yeah, because he has really weak cards, to be honest, so that's good. Makes our job easier. <laughs> and you need to talk to this guy and duel him um, to progress in the game. Life points, uh, opponent was out of life points, duel victory. Your deck capacity increased by 5. 80, 81 domino was obtained. Liquid beast was obtained. Uh, that's a pretty decent card, I guess. But I, I don't know if I want to add to my deck because I have so many other good cards. Ouch, that, la that lost, I lost that one. And if you talk to him again, which I'm going to actually change my deck around a little bit. Again, so let me see. I'm gonna go by attack again because that's how I usually do it. Um, not any of these cards because they're, they're too good, honestly. Um, I'm gonna put there's that. How much does okay? I'm gonna just put that in my trunk, but how much does it make? Dang it, what do I do? 
Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. This battle ox, even though I want battle ox in my deck, but he, again, deck capacity here, so kind of stinks. Um, let me see here. Where's Mystic Horse Man? Where is Mystic Horse Man? Did I just pass it? Cause oh, here he is. Oh no. Okay. I'm gonna have to put someone else in my trunk then. So who will it be though? Which is Apprentice. Oh yeah. Um, I still kind of want to keep her because of effect, I guess. Okay, that's still not enough. I put this back in my deck. Dang it. Well, then again, I still need. Okay, I can't put in that. I can't put another a Mystic Horseman in my deck. I've noticed that now that I know. Okay, wait. This I can still have room for one more card though. So which one will it be? I think that was one of my weaker cards to be honest. Um. I don't remember which one it was. I could put my dolphin thing back in there. <laughs> my white dolphin card. Okay, so I really wish I could put a second Mr. Coisman on my deck, but that's okay. Although I need to talk to him first to practice in the game, obviously. So let's talk to him. There's a creepy rumor going around. It's about the card, sh this card shop. It's usually okay, but if someone does go, in go, but if someone goes in alone with a rare card, they say he never returns and he never comes back out again. No one knows what's going on inside the, that card shop. That's what I've heard. And you hear that little chime that indicates that you've done something to progress in the game. So let's go back to the map and go to the card shop then. Because that's where we want to check this thing out. Because we're like a... We can take this on, right? Okay. Welcome. This isn't the um, guy who sells your cards at the counter. It's not the right... Um, Kinda of employee, but he says welcome. Oh, you're you're you must be Steven. I've heard I've heard I've, you've been making a name for yourself lately. Word is that you're quite a strong duelist. Anyways, actually, I was waiting for you to visit. You see, I wanted to invite you to a special show. Oh. Um, after I've heard how good you are, I've wanted to see you. Um, yes, I definitely wish for you to witness my show, but it's too cramped here. Shall we go downstairs? So that is, um, Akaya, Akaida, I think is his name. And he is the person who dueled Yugi in the anime, but, um, since you're the main character in this game, you duel him, basically. This is the basement duel chamber. Please sit. Now we shall enjoy our duel together and you and I. Oh, this looks pretty, you know, Sketchy right here, I guess you could say. Haha, <laughs> surprise you can't move, can you? The duel, the duelist rule is the loser gets chopped up. It's a uh, lovely rule that makes this diabolical. I'm a member of the ghouls. Let me test your power. Okay, so you're part of the bad guys, you know. Bad guy team. Haha, <laughs> here I come. Woody Wally from Ruby Sapphire and Emerald. Jeez. Okay, so in the anime, it, it was whoever lost gets their soul t uh, taken to the shadow realm or something. But since this was four kids back in the day with the anime that rhymed, um, they made it like more PG, I guess. But in this game, they kind of, you know, made it a little gruesome. So let's see, what can I? Um, I don't want to bet my boys. Um, I'll bet. No, wait, let me see my. Let me organize this by attack. There we go. I'm gonna bet one of my judge mans because I have six. So let's use this as anti. Okay, it's Steven's turn. <laughs> okay. So this is a dark terrain, so it powers up dark type monsters. And it looks like I have Mystic Horseman. So I'm gonna put him out there. And I don't think I can attack. Nope, I can't. So I'm gonna end my turn there. Enjoy my show. Uh, 100 life points damage to the opponent. Okay. That's not good. Because it puts those in defense mode, huh? Okay, so. What I want to do now is put Dwayne's and do his effect. There we go. And just in case, I'm going to just attack him with Mr. Koisman. And Dwayne can... Uh, oh wait, Dwayne can't attack right now because he already used his effect for the turn. Okay, uh, you, you revealed my hand. Oh man. Okay, so um... 
Yeah, let's see here. How much attack do you have? 325, okay. So I think I want to sacrifice one of my Doran's tribute to get, um... Oh, uh, man. Wow, no call too, okay. That works. Now we can deal a lot of damage to his life points. A lot of damage. So there we go. Nice, he's already down to 4,225 points. So yeah. Uh, turn end. Okay, so he's gonna put another card in defense mode. Okay. I don't think I need to use Witch's Apprentice, um, is, um, you know, tr uh, effect, so I'm good. Yeah. There we go. Mr. Horseman. Then this card. Then Doron. And then, yeah. Witch's Apprentice. I think Winch's Apprentice also got a boost too. And also, don't use light monsters unless you're finishing off his life points. And he doesn't have a, any cards on his field or monsters on his field. Because light, uh, dark monsters, um, just automatically knock out light monsters. Like the, ty the type advantages and all that. There's some advantages, advantages, you know? So, uh, yeah, let's see. Let's just do that. Doran will attack this guy right here. Yep, there we go. And that's pretty much a good game, yeah. The opponents all have points. No victory. You get a really cool card. And deck capacity increased by 30. Awesome, because he's a major, um, character. About 10,000 domino was obtained. Deck magician was obtained, and it's only 20 cost. That's 2,500 attack and 2,100 defense. So it's a really good card. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I think. A seven level level seven monster too, a slender magician who is among the best kind of all, uh, best of all kind, all his kind. His attack and defense stats are top class, and yeah, as I said, the cost is only twenty, so you can definitely put this in your deck. I, definitely at this point of the game too. Um, it's a type of spellcaster and summon is dark, so that's pretty cool. I lost. Why wow, the blade? It's coming closer. Help me, please. Lock. And because we're so nice, we help him out, of course. Oh, saved. Gah, ma ma my Mari, I guess. Uh, so, you appear to be strong somewhat, Stephen. You've been an impediment to my plans. Don't think that you'll get out of freely. This used fool, I will dispose of him. And he just falls over face, face first. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then it just turns back to the regular music. There's like blades and everything, but the blades never even moved. Can I even go over this? I think I have to go around. Oh, wait, if you go the yeah, you go out accidentally, he um just disappears and stuff. But you can like click on his uh, click on the A button on him, and it just makes the button noise, which is kind of weird. But we're gonna just say that he like walked off and got up, or got up and walked off, and yeah. Okay, so let's go back to um Yugi's um grandpa's uh shop. So let's see here. Um, Cocktail Square, I guess is where it's at. And, nope, that's not where it is. Okay. It's over here, actually. Yeah. Okay, so let's go in the game shop. Um, who are you? You look like a new face. Hey, Joey Wheeler told me about this shop. I, too, am a duelist. The regular customers here, um, they are very strong. They are very strong. If you buy some cards, perhaps I'm... If I buy some cards, perhaps I will become stronger also. Interesting. Here's Taya again. Let's talk to her. Um, he, he came with Joey. I think they met somewhere and hit it off. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, just say something different. Nope, you, okay, Yugi's grandpa, you need to get a new, um, you need to get a new line for this game. You can't just say the same thing. So if we go outside the, the shop right here, if table let me, and go back in, he, the, the duelist is just gone. And he didn't escape from this, um, this door right here because it's, not, it's not axable. It's not, dang it, it's not an axable accessible door there we go so like if you keep on running in and out like the first time you run in and out you could you would have seen him go out and run out of the shop because that's like the only exit but um i'm just gonna end the part right here so this has been the end of my you get the secret cards for the gba game boy advance let's play part and the next part will take on hopefully a more duos and get more Maybe get an XL card, I don't know. Depends. <laughs> so yeah, this is my giant go again. I would like to much again. Goodbye, and hope to see you guys at the next part of my Yu-Gi-Oh! The Secret Cards GBA Let's Play.